Slater Springman's life has changed dramatically. Within the last month, the Holland Hall graduate turned collegiate baseball athlete has been confined to a hospital bed. We came to a really bad crisis where we thought we might lose him. A senior at Freed Hardeman University in Henderson, Tennessee, Slater was conditioning with his baseball team. He had only run seven laps when he uh, collapsed. An ambulance rushed to the scene. When he re reached the hospital, his core body temperature was 105 degrees. This would be the beginning of Slater's fight for his life. And has had everybody just pray right now for we're really frightened. Slater's health began to spiral. He was put in a medical coma and diagnosed with rhabdomyolysis, a condition where muscle fibers release their contents into the bloodstream. The athlete's CPK levels, or proteins that elicit chemical changes in the body, began to rise. This number that is thrown off with the rhabdomyolysis called CPK um, <clears throat> is usually, between you and I, is usually about 200. Slater's skyrocketed to nearly 1 million, and doctors weren't sure what to do. His journey spread like wildfire. There are wonderful family of friends and prayer warriors across the country and around the world. I get, I get cards from all around the world. Slater's body stabilized. The Springmans hanging on to their faith. I prayed all day. I just went in and prayed over him all day. He's 22, but he's still my baby. In a world of prayer, giving Slater a fighting chance. Corey Duke, Two Works For You.